Hi, I'm Lady Lex UK, and here are the results of the Crystalonia Showcase Challenge. Um, you all made some amazing assets. We made a fantastic kit. And then I said to you, go away, make some showcases. And you did. And here they are. And they have been really, really good. I think, uh, thank you to everybody who took part in making the assets and especially to the people that uh, make the showcases. And as you can see, one of them is even made it to be an MM pick. So that's even better. I'm so pleased that this kit has been a success. So um, congratulations <laughs> to uh, everybody who took part. Right, let's have a look at the showcases, shall we? Um, this is VR compatible. It's Crystalonia Puzzle Room by Beanie Bevan. So, let's have a look. Ooh, so we're in. Ooh, that looks cool. Wow, look at this. It's amazing how this kit can be used for sci-fi or fantasy or just if you want to make something icy or something like that. It's really good for that too. bits and pieces very atmospheric this complete the cube okay right I'm gonna put put that in there um, am I too high okay accidentally stood on it. Can we grab that? There we are. Um, I don't know what bits I've got here. Okay. That looks like it should go in there. <laughs> this isn't easy. I keep standing on the Standing on it. <coughs> oh dear. Excuse me. Aha. Aha. Ta da. Brilliant. Ooh, a portal's opened up. Look how great it all looks. It's all very mystical, isn't it? Let's go through. Portal. Wow, there we are. Wasn't that good? That uh, really um, highlighted what the, the kit's about and, and what it looks like. Very, very nice indeed. Right, okay. Crystalonia Sauce Pool by Skitendo. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, we've got the, uh, the lovely character model. Look how different this looks. It's... it's uh, much brighter it's really cool what's this down here I love these butterfly things I think they're cool and I also like it when when you just sit if you just stands for a bit then um, the butterflies appear and it works so well in this environment with all these butterfly plants everywhere it just looks fantastic it's so impressive right let's go down here into this tunnel what's, what's through here Ooh, we've got all these all these screw things we've got all these blocks all right we can't get any further that's that's as far as we can go Ooh, what's this oh there's another one Mm. It's very good. The way that, that they've made the caves and with all the crystals and everything. I think it looks great. Very good. Right. That was Contendos. Then we've got Crystalonia Castle by Annie22. Another VR compatible game. Look at this. 
slightly different again. I'd say this was more fantasy. Um, so the others were a little bit more sci-fi. Look how fantastic this all looks. And there's our castle. And our queen up there. I like, I really like what they've done here with my uh, pipes. They've got this red thing going through it, which is really cool. Easy to do as well. You just, uh, you just put a, a cube thing then just keyframe it down. It looks cool. Everybody's assets are used here. Gosh, these the castle bits look good, don't they? Amazing. There we go, Crystalonia Castle. Uh, and then we've got Crystalonia Showcase by Ninja James 116. Ah, we're in a cave. Nice to use all the mushrooms, these pearls and things. And then we come out to here. Well, that's its laid out, look. In a sort of palace courtyard type thing. So many objects. It looks like there's a lift up there. Let's go and see if we can get to that. How do we get to that? We can jump. Crystalonia music as well. Way! Ah, oh, but. It really shows off, you know, the versatility of these props and what you can make. And, you know, want to make a platformer? You know, all of these props are available for you to use. Brilliant. Right, so we've got Beanie's Crystalonian Island Showcase by Beanie Bevan. Okay, so this time we've got more of a sort of an art diorama thing. But there's a, there's a robot there, or the crystal creature, whatever he is. We can follow him, see where he's going. I like the fact that everybody's interpreted the showcases completely differently. So we've got a few castles and uh, a few caves and things, but I mean, they're all different. And they do show how versatile the kit can be. Oop, where's he gone? So this this um this works well as a, a as a platforming set if you want to make a a platformer puzzle platformer this is ideal this this asset kit where's he gone whoa he's off Whee! I've lost him he's moving faster than my imp <laughs> come on. Oh, we went through the portal. There we go. And he started off at the beginning. Oh, how cool is that? That's brilliant. Love it. Right, there we go. <laughs> and then we've got Crystalonia Showcase by Natob1. 
said he had a lot of fun figuring out what to do. The Crystalonia Knight does part of his journey to ask the Crystalonia Queen for a hand in marriage. Woo! This is very atmospheric. I like this. It's all the very dark with everything all glowing. That's the good thing about this kit. A lot of these, these props are all sort of like got this lovely blue glow to them. I, I really appreciate the fact that everybody kept to the palette and didn't create things that were bright red or anything like that. Um, you really understood the purpose of the kit and, um, and what would look good and what would fit and everything looks amazing. As you can see, people are making use of these assets to make all sorts of environments that look magical and complex and multi-layered. It's all fantastic. I am so enthused about the response to this that um, I'm definitely going to run another one somewhere near Christmas. And I don't think I want to make it a Christmas one unless you specifically want us to. So um, if anybody's got any great ideas for the next kit and what we should do... Oh, going up in a lift. And let me know in the comments if you've got any really great ideas about the next kit. Like I say, somewhere I'm, I'm thinking maybe beginning of December. And then you have the whole of December to make something. But uh, we'll have to think, what do we want to do? Anybody got any fantastic ideas on a kit? Brilliant. Whoa! It really feels immersive. I don't know. It just... Everybody's used these props with so much depth. It feels like you're walking in an entire world, which is just fantastic. There we go. So, Crystal Only Showcase by Nutup1. And then we have Crystalonia, the soul of all pieces by Trickerbolt. Now, uh, this is multiple um, worlds to make a game. And uh, it's VR compatible. It's got 122 thumbs up, which isn't very many. But look at this. It's an MM pick, which I think is fantastic. I'm so pleased. Thank um, um, I'm sure Trickerbolt is really, really pleased about that. Um, it just shows that um, we made a good kit and uh, and you can make things that Media Molecule like with the kit. So here we go. All right, we need a soul of ice. I've got no thumbs. Do me a favor. Jump through portal one, head up the hill, and bring one back. Off we go then. So it is, it is a showcase in that it is really showing off all your wonderful assets, but it's a really nice playable platformer. crystals to collect and I think the soul of that we need is if we run into this and then we pick up that oh oh I'm holding it too much right okay there we go Woo, full speed to power the portals there we go and we're back, we can give it to this. What we got to do, charge the gem with an aspect 
of lightning. Okay, so we've got going to two with our gem. Oh wow, they're using my... Oops, that was a mistake. Right, let's pick up the gem. Um, they're using my um, water pipes. <laughs> I really do. Oh my god, I'm rubbish at this. Um, quick, pick it up. Right, off we go. Oh no! Oh, oh my god, this is not easy. Oh no, don't go, don't go, don't go. I need to pick up my gem. Right, okay. Did really well the first time. And then completely failed the second time. Yes! Woo! It's fantastic. Where have we got to go, do you think? Danger, high voltage. Oh my god. Look at the, 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 these things that people have made. Just made into amazing platform hazards and things. It's just brilliant. Well done, Trick Ball. It's really good. It deserves its MMP. Oh god. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh no! Yeah, yep, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh damn it, I fell off. Anyway, I'm going to spoil this game for you by playing it. So, um, please go play this. Go thumb it up. It's um, it's really nice to see uh, you all making a really fantastic job. I have put this into the asset kit. So if we if you go to Castellonia asset kit now, there are the showcases. So um, if you've got this bookmarked or whatever, you can find it easily. And as you can see, this kit is... Um, it's got so much in it um, and all of them were marvellous I will say there wasn't a, a, a really duff object amongst the whole lot you did an amazing job and it just shows in the showcases what amazing job you did um, because people can use them to make top quality MM pick games with it so I'm just Thank you so much. And like I say, if you've got any ideas for the next kit that we do as as a community, then uh, then leave in the comments your ideas, and uh, we'll see what we pick. Like I say, I think December we'll do do one in December. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in your dreams. <laughs>